My name is Azlan Adnan, better known as Mr. Azlan the landlord. I decided to become a landlord because the rental money comes in at the end of the month whether I get out of bed or not. That uh, goes very well with my lazy nature. So um, I haven't had a job which is just over broke uh, in 30 years. So I work for myself and I, and I do things on my own. So one of the initiatives I just decided to do was to take care of my health because I had health challenges. In the past, I've had gout, I've had cataracts, I had enlarged prostate, and I had uh, non-alcoholic fatty uh, liver diseases, which I've all reversed through nutrition and a few other modalities, which I can talk about later. But today, and the program that I'm running, uh, I park it under a social enterprise called Vegivore Food Therapy, which is a business division under Mr. Azlan, the landlord, Sundar Bahad, to share how I've overcome my health challenges. Now, when you look at the Malaysian uh, Health and Mobility Survey 2019, you'll find that they're very shocking statistics. 50% uh, of Malaysians are fat, uh, meaning 30% are overweight and another 20% are obese. 95 of Malaysians do not reach their daily quota of uh, servings, of five to nine servings of fresh vegetables and fruits a day. So a lot of diseases, particularly non-communicable diseases, uh, NCDs, uh, non-communicable diseases, NCDs, also known as, known as lifestyle diseases, are as a result of wrong nutrition, wrong lifestyle. Not enough exercise, not enough movement, eating the wrong things, not eating the right things, things like that. So I decided because I can do it, others too. They just need to know how and uh, why they should do it. Now the why is as important as the how. Because once you understand why you need to avoid certain foods, why you need to eat certain foods, and when you have a deep, what we call cognitive understanding of the why, then your unconscious will guide you. Then it doesn't become a matter of willpower. There will be no discipline involved. There's no like hardship. When you look at something, your brain already says, hey, find something more healthy to eat. Okay? You'll see certain food as poison. You'll see certain food as nutritious and you want to eat it. So. Uh, I want to share this knowledge, so I'm giving free classes between this month, July and December 2023, to anyone who needs it. So for OKU, it's free. Uh, for members of the Malaysian Vegetarian Society, it's also free. For members of the public, uh, I'll be charging a small amount, uh, depending on the venue. If the venue is free, then it's by voluntary donation or contribution. But if the venue is uh, charging a fee for the venue, uh, then I will charge a small fee just to cover costs. I don't want the lack of money to be a stumbling block to people to improving their health. So I want the information to reach out as many people as possible. So in that way, if there are companies and corporations out there who want this to be part of their corporate social responsibility program, I'm very happy to work together with them. Many companies I know, corporate companies, have a hall or day one within their building that can be used as a venue. So I need a venue to talk and also to teach people how to pre prepare the food and uh, for them to make themselves the experience that they can do it, to make healthy food and it tastes so good and they will want to eat it every day. So with food, the more you eat, the better, the faster the results you get. It's not a matter of all or nothing. It's a matter of starting where you're comfortable and slowly improving and doing more so that you get better results. And the amazing thing is, after two weeks, when you see some results, you'll be motivated and encouraged to do more. It's almost effortless because it's like automatic. Because the brain says, hey, this is good for you. You've lost weight. You feel better. Your lipid profile is good and your blood pressure has come down. So keep on doing it. You know? So it's not a matter of discipline. It's not like hard work at all. It'll actually be a very enjoyable journey. So when you come to my class, I like to tell my participants, this is the first day of the rest of your life. Because the other participants in your class will be your peer-to-peer -peer support group. Okay? In Malaysia and in many countries, you cannot do counselling or give dietary advice or nutrition advice unless you have a master's degree and you have a licence. But we can do peer-to-peer -peer support. So this way I'm sharing my journey and uh, I give a lot of resources to books and uh, um, videos from world-class uh, subject matter experts in their fields so that you're not learning from me but you're learning from the best people in their subject from around the world. So I just am a conduit to channel this information to as many people as possible so that we can build a better Malaysia.
a, nat a nation is only as healthy as its people. So if you are a nation of 50% sick or sickly people, then because the population is sick and sickly, the nation is also sick and sickly. So to be the best that we can be and the best country that we can be, we have to improve our health, our personal health. It starts with us.